happened to me was it changed your life's direction. And so what keeps you strong now? Fourth year student, I was planning on going to law school. And my, I felt my life's mission was to help people in need. All of my work outside of school, volunteering, and my summer jobs were always helping other people in need. And all of a sudden, I'm that person in need. So it was completely being on the other side. And I learned to accept help is a gift unto itself. And you really can't do it alone. I was very fortunate that I had my mother, who is a very strong woman, who each and every day would say, we can get through this. And it was that we, that I felt it's, it's more than myself. It's a family. It's a network of people. It's a community. And I really reached out. And in reaching out, I was able to give back. And it, it, it's just one of the most powerful things to be able to help someone equally. It is as wonderful to accept. And I think it's a give and a take in life. And you really have to be open to both receiving and giving. I know that for many of us in the audience, we can relate to the challenges of receiving. Um, that that, for many of us, is something that we work on. You now, in an ambassador role, um, and a spokesperson for people with disability, what is your greatest hurdle that you now have to overcome? I think the unknown is a real challenge. I think stereotypes are still rampant, uh, certainly for people with disabilities. We have in, embedded in our constitution that uh, people with disabilities have the right to equality, and yet, People with disabilities are often the poorest of the poor. They're often shut out, uh, left upstairs, forgotten in an attic, and it really is unfortunate. I find that people do treat me differently when I would be in a wheelchair, when I would be walking with canes, when uh, today I'm wearing a dress, you can see that both my knees are replaced, I have scars. People do treat me differently when they know that I have a disability, not only a disability, but multiple disabilities, multiple health concerns. And I really struggled with, I'm the same person I was before, why am I being treated differently? And I, I just think it's the unknown. I think it's so important that I speak about the life of a person with a disability, and I share that we're all people. We're all trying to make the best of whatever situation it is that we have, and if we stand together, we have a chance of making a big difference. So that what certainly drives me is, is helping people and receiving help in, in exchange.